Welcome back to my home. My name is Amanda Outish with Outish Designs, and today I'm here to tell you that you cannot rush design. I personally have been in my home for the past eight months, and I still don't have a single piece of wall art or paintings on the walls. And the reason why is because I haven't been able to find pieces that actually go with the aesthetics of my home. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I created pieces to elevate my space. And I hope that this video inspires you to do the same. So let's go ahead and get started. For these pieces, we're going to need two canvases as well as two frames. And I actually got these frames from Ikea. They're called Reba. They're 61 by 91. The canvases that I got are by Artist Loft and I got two in the size of 60.9 by 91.4. You're also going to need a paint palette in black acrylic paint and you're going to pour yourself a good amount of paint onto your palette. The paint that I'm using here is by Sargent Art in the color black. Make sure to grab a very textured brush as you can see, this one has gone through a lot. And we're going to go ahead and dip it into the black paint. There's really no rhyme or reason as to how to do this. We're just simply going to create lines going across the canvas. To give it a more finished look, we can always go back in with the paint and the brush and fill in those parts that are a little faint as needed. Make sure to create lines that are going horizontal as well as vertical to create visual interest. Next, we're going to apply plaster to the white areas of the canvas with a spatula to give it a more textured look. Make sure to give it a good mix before you apply it as well. Finally, we're going to let it sit for 24 hours so it can all dry. For the second painting, we're going to use the same technique. However, this time I'm going to add more horizontal lines to give it more visual interest. A trick that may help you with this technique is to flip the painting upside down to make sure that you have clean lines on the bottom of the painting as well. Once again, we're going to add plaster to the white areas of the canvas to provide it more texture. And then we're going to let it sit for 24 hours so it can all dry. Good morning guys! So now that everything's dry, we're going to go ahead and remove the canvas from the wood frame. Next, we're going to grab our scissors and cut the excess fabric from the sides. And now we're going to place our paintings in the frames. Make sure to remove the protective sticker that comes on the plexiglass. 
And here's the final product. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that this video inspired you to create your own pieces. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at audi.designs and share with me your creations. I love to see how they turn out and I'll see you guys next week.